John's Box and part two of God's Wonderful Railway at Swindon. In part one, we looked at the beginnings of the railway works back in 1835 and we finished up at the start of the Second World War and a bit into the Second World War. So in this part, in this second part, we're going to look at the post-war years up until the railway's closure in 1986, that is the railway works closure, and what has been done since then. So sit back and enjoy. The start of the formation of the nationalised British Rail in 1947, the works were still producing 60 new locomotives in the year, falling to 42 in 1954. From 1948 to 1956, the works made 452 steam engines to GWR designs, partly in parallel with producing 200 BR standard classes from 1951 until 1960. The decision in 1960 to move BR's main motive power from steam to diesel brought the works both new lines of employment and an end to an old one. The works became the southern UK's regional hub for the storage and scrapping of steam locomotives and rolling stock, a role which later expanded to all scrap railway yarna in light of the beaching axe. However, it has also brought about an end to steam locomotive production, with the works producing BR's last steam locomotive, 92220 Evening Star, by which time the works only employed 5,000. Much of the original design and specification for the first Mark II carriages and bogies was carried out by the engineering drawing office at Swindon in the early 1960s. The B4 bogie used on this carriage provided more reliable high-speed running than that under the previous generation Mark I carriage and heralded the higher running speed brought in with the start of intercity services and the West Coast Mainline Electrification. The future of the works had been defined by the GWR's post-World War II choice to develop its new diesel-powered experimental locomotives using diesel hydraulic transmission systems rather than diesel electric. As a result, from 1957 the works produced 38 warship class D800s and 30 western class D1000s. However, early diesel production followed previous steam locomotive construction strategy, resulting in numerous classes with short production runs and a resultant high maintenance cost in traffic. With the Beaching Act strategy of reshaping BR towards intercity traffic, the need for many of these diesel-powered classes were, was removed. A decision was also made to specify all new classes of locomotive with diesel-electric transmission making the work specialist diesel hydraulic knowledge redundant. As a result, with scrapping rolling stock keeping employment levels at the works high, a decision was made to cease building new locomotives at Swindon and to reassign the works to become a heavy repair facility. Building of locomotives finished in 1965 with construction of the class 14 diesel hydraulic locomotives. Locomotive repairs and carriage and wagon work continued, though the original carriage and wagon workshop was sold. After the works became part of BR's Integrated British Rail Engineering Limited, Braille. It won less and less maintenance business against the internal competition of Crewe and Derby works. With Swindon expanding as a town, and with the need for land close to its centre for development, the decision to close the works was made in 1986. The works closed on the 26th of March 1986. Between 2000 and 2006, the rolling chassis of GWR number 7200 were restored in the former iron foundry J shop, making it the final western steam locomotive to receive attention at the works.
if you've managed to get this far into the video, well done, thumbs up to you. Well, um, statistics show that probably you're not one of my subscribers. Thank you if you are, of course. I am grateful for every one subscriber that I have. In order to get a notification of future videos that I make, and I, they do come out at least twice a week, subscribe and press on the bell uh, to get notifications. And I want my channel to grow, but without your support, that won't happen. So thank you very much once again, and enjoy the rest of this video. Cheers. Redevelopment of the works took account of the listed building status of the original core infrastructure. One building currently houses the Swindon Steam Railway Museum, dedicated to the works and the GWR. The engineer's office is now the headquarters of English Heritage, with most of the remaining buildings redeveloped as part of the designer outlet village. The rest of the site's extensive railway yard was redeveloped on a mixed-use basis, some for housing and some for commercial buildings, including purpose-built storage for the English Heritage Archive and the National Trust Central Office building known as Helis. Thank you very much for being with me and I hope you enjoyed the second part. Don't forget to leave your comments and likes and all the other YouTube stuff. I'll be back in November with part three which will focus on Swindon's railway village and everything within it. So that will be coming in November. So stay tuned and see you again. Bye.